Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. Today I would like to show you how to crochet this cute door mat. It's made from one juta ball. Actually it's 50% juta and 50% cotton and uh, it's a rectangle. I started from the middle uh, here and I at first created the square and then the rectangle so I add uh, the rows on two opposite sides. The written pattern is for free on my blog. Uh, the pattern notes are available as always in the box right below this video tutorial. The pattern is perfect for beginners. I will use only double crochet stitches and chains. If you will have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can put the comment or question right below this video tutorial. I'm always there and happy to help. So let's get started, my crochet friends. Let's look at the ball. It's uh, 500 grams in one ball, 80 meters, and it's 50% juta and 50% cotton. And I will use one ball of this yarn for this smaller door mat. So now let's get started with a magic ring. I will just cross the yarn to make a circle, then insert the hook into the loop or into the circle, grab the yarn, pull it up and then let's chain five. I will start each row with five chains at the beginning. I will count chain two of a double crochet and chain three is my space between double crochet stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I will place two double crochets into the magic ring. Okay, yarn over, pull yarn through two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull yarn through two loops on your hook. So this is double crochet and my pattern consists of double crochet stitches and chains. So it will be easy. The second double crochet into the magic ring. And once you finish a group of two double crochet stitches, let's chain three chains. So there will be a group of two double crochet stitches and three chains. And I will repeat it two more times. One, two and three. Perfect. So two more times. So there will be four chain three spaces and four two double crochets groups. And I will use chain three space as a corner. And this will be my corner stitch two double crochet stitches, three chains and two double crochet stitches. But I will show you these corners in the next round. Now let's finish the first round. I will work in closed rounds, so every round will be closed with slip stitch placed in the second chain at the beginning. Now chain three. Okay. 
one, two, three, and two double crochets. Now I'm at the end. I made the last double crochet after three chains. Now I will join the round with a slip stitch placed in the second chain from the beginning. I closed the round and there are four groups of two double crochet stitches and chain three between groups. You see? Perfect. We made a perfect square. There are four corners with uh, chain three spaces. Now I have to move into the corner. So let me work one more slip stitch. Here I am, I'm in the corner. Now chain five, which is one double crochet and chain three. And this is how you will start also the next round. So slip stitch to reach the corner and then five chains, then two double crochets in chain three space, in the same chain three space. This is my corner stitch. Okay, one double crochet and one more. And as you can see, next there are two double crochets we created in the previous round. So I will work one double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, one and two. Sometimes it was difficult to work with this uh, juta yarn. It's, it's absolutely not flexible, not stretchy. It's quite hard and uh, for somebody it, it's not pleasant to work, work with juta because it's, uh, let's say, too dry <laughs> yarn, but uh, this combination with uh, cotton is it's quite good. Just uh, you have to tight, um, hard, and pull hardly through the loops. So I usually help with my fingers. Now there is chain three space. So I will work two double crochets in this chain three space. Then chain three and two double crochets. This is my corner stitch. Two double crochets, chain three and two double crochets. And if I count double crochets, on the side, you can see there is a group of six double crochet stitches on one side. And the same group will be on next uh, three sides <laughs> around. Okay. Now chain three, one, two, and three, 
and again two double crochet stitches in the same chain three space and the instructions are the same then you will place one double crochet in next two stitches and two double crochets in chain three space so there will be a group of six double crochet stitches on the side again so this is it so you can keep continue crocheting double crochet stitches I really tied uh, the yarn to have you know the perfectly shaped doormat so that's why I tied the yarn so tightly so six double crochets one two three four five and the last is already made actually it was the first um, double crochet at the beginning so again there will be a group of six here I am you see one two three four five six one two three four and this is the last double crochet which I will place in the chain three space at the beginning So we nicely joined the round. There are six double crochets on each side and three chains between groups. Let's close the round with a slip stitch placed in the second chain from the beginning here we are and one more slip stitch and chain three space just to move to the corner and I will chain five at the beginning as always so let me check we have one two three four five six one two three four five six and one two three four five six <laughs> perfect everything's correct now chain five this is how we started round number one and round number two And then two double crochets in chain three space. Two double crochets. second one and then as you can see there is a group of six double crochet stitches we made in the previous round and I will skip two and chain two Okay, so skip first two stitches in the group of five and then let's work one double crochet in next four stitches okay so in next four stitches place one double crochet and then you will reach the corner space 
and you already know that we will place two double crochets in this chain three space then chain three and two double crochets in the same chain three space So if I count the stitches, there will be a group of six double crochet stitches again. This uh, crocheting is a bit uh, slow. But uh, yeah, I want to check each and every stitch and chain just to have a perfect uh, and perfectly shaped doormat now two double crochets in chain three space And then chain three. So let me check. So we have in the corner stitch, then we skipped two stitches and there is a group of six double crochet stitches then chain three two double crochets in chain three space skip two double crochets then one double crochet in next four and two double crochet in chain three space then chain three two double crochet in chain three space skip two one, two, three, four double crochets and two into the corner, chain three, two doubles in the corner, skip two and then one, two, three, four and the last one, the fifth one. Then you will join the round with a slip stitch and work a slip stitch in chain three space to move into the corner so let's look at my work you see there is a space after two double crochet stitches at the beginning on each side so let's get started round number four chain five at the beginning as always and then two double crochets in chain three space and this um, side will be again symmetric you will see there will be two groups of six double crochet stitches and 
chain two space between these groups in the middle on the side. So the second double crochet in the corner. Then one double crochet in next two stitches and two double crochets in chain two space. Okay, so one double crochet in next two stitches, we will have four double crochets. And as I told you, we need six double crochets. So I will place two double crochets in chain two space. and two perfect then chain two skip two stitches and this is the middle of the side One, two, three, four, five, six. Skip two and then one, two, three, four, and two into the middle. So again, we will have six double crochets. So this side is quite easy, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then chain three. And repeat it one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip two stitches in the middle, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and chain three, and repeat it till you reach the beginning of the row. I love this row, it's <laughs> symmetric and excellent, yeah. So now guys, I finished the square and I will now work one row on one side, then skip next side and work on the opposite side. Okay, I move by slip stitch. in the middle of the corner here we are and then chain three one two three and one double crochet in the corner space double crochet at the beginning perfect then one two three four double crochets so let's work one double crochet in next four double crochet stitches 
you have made in the previous round and as you can see there will be a group of six double crochet stitches then chain two one two three four five six perfect now chain two skip two double crochet stitches and let's work two double crochets in chain two space So one double crochet and the second double crochet. We are in the middle of the side, then chain two, skip two stitches and work one double crochet in next four stitches one two three four and then two double crochets in the corner space and uh, I will show you how we will continue so we have six double crochets chain two two double crochets and six double crochets now Let's work a slip stitch in each and every stitch in each double crochet and in each chain space and this is how we will nicely make the edge around the side and also we move to the next corner which I need <laughs> and we will continue working on the opposite side so you see slip stitch in each double crochet and in each chain space This is how you will make a nice edge around the side. Look at it. It looks perfect from the side also from at the top and it makes the doormat are nicely shaped so you will stabilize the side then you will continue with the pattern six double crochet stitches chain two two double crochets chain two and six double crochet stitches here I am <laughs> I just finish the round continuing slip stitching now chain three and double crochet in chain three space and as you know we will work one double crochet in next four stitches We will skip two double crochets then and work two double crochets in chain two space. 
so there is no surprise <laughs> one two three four skip two two double crochets in chain two space one two skip one one two three four five and six here i am and then you have to finish the next uh, side with slip stitches and this is the rest of uh, the ball so we are perfectly <laughs> with the skein as well we will finish the doormat with one ball of uh, jute yarn so this is it my crochet friends i will show you how to finish the round with an invisible join of course you can close the round with a slip stitch or i will show you the method which is perfect and you can use it for any crocheted project so this is it we manage it you can cut the end leaving a bit longer tail we will need it to make an invisible join now you can pull the loop i will use the crochet hook because i don't have so big eye on my needle so pull the loop now inside the hook and the front and back loop of the first stitch you created at the beginning so under the V like this and pull yarn under these two loops yes <laughs> a bit difficult to pull it under the V and then back please find your last V last uh, stitch and insert the hook under this circle loop on the wrong side of this loop and in uh, the last loop into the V and pull the loop I will move my door mat a bit just to show you so pull the yarn through the last stitch and through the third loop on the wrong side like this and we perfectly joined the first and the last stitch in the row with an invisible join and now you can hide the end on the wrong side and we are done <laughs> we just made cute doormat I'm so happy how it turned out and we used only one ball I know that this doormat is uh, a bit smaller than the classic one but uh, I think you can also make the bigger one using uh, more but you will need more yarns so let me measure the side it has 35 centimeters 13.5 inches so this is the longer side and the shorter side measures 29 centimeters 11.3 inches so this is it my crochet friends this is the end of my video tutorial i would like to thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoy this video tutorial i really love to prepare video tutorials for you if you like it please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel in case of any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can put the comment right below this video tutorial i used the uh, judita you yarn 
It's 50% cotton and 50% juta. And uh, please let me know how your doormat turned out. I really love your feedbacks. So thank you very much for watching. Once again, take care. Wish you happy crocheting and bye for now. Bye bye.